have been involved in organizing for a long time in the city, uh, but the, the legislative advocacy piece is relatively new to me. The Advocacy Institute is like the perfect place to come and really learn from the trainers and also from the people that are within the same training. We have so many different groups throughout the city that are doing such amazing work. A lot of the things that we want to do in a neighborhood that involve building power also involve sort of coming up against power and taking power and collaborating with folks in power, which is where the Advocacy Institute and all their work around city and state government really comes into play. The Advocacy Institute started in 2011 with a three-day pilot project that was an intensive training on the legislative process in New York City and state. We're really committed to transforming the political and legislative landscape in New York for justice and dignity. And we want to work with and support the work of organizations who are working towards that goal as well. And I think so many organizations struggle to have the capacity to really do legislative advocacy or pay attention to the current events, pay attention to all the players, pay attention to how legislation is moving. It's a lot to do when you're also running an organization. So what we do is really make those things more accessible for folks. From the very beginning, we've been really committed to visuals, creating tools and heuristics that can sort of break down processes and analyze power and communicate those really effectively. So we did a number of those three-day trainings and one-day trainings and really found that we were on to something and then we expanded that into a five-week course that's one day a week and now an annual subscription. The course has been really exciting for me. I've learned a lot and, and met a lot of people um, organizing and working on different campaigns. It's been really useful to get a sense of political strategy. As a group doing community organizing work, if you've done one bill or you've done 30 bills, either way, every bill is going to be different. There are going to be different angles that need to be considered, different types of expertise. And one great thing that AI does is they bring in all of these great experts from different parts of the policy government field. I was just talking to two people who I had talked to last year and the year before, and every time I come back here, they explain to me, all right, this is what you told me last year, this is what I did, and this is how effective I was. So it's working. People are actually taking this advice and this knowledge and applying it, and then coming back the next year to explain where they have their successes. You can see the beginnings of a network of advocates who know about each other's work, who can work outside of silos, who can make connections, and who can be more effective both in their specific issue area and across issues. You might be pushing for gender expression, non-discrimination. Another organization might be pushing for the DREAM Act, and you realize that we basically have the same challenges in the state senate, right? There's the same individuals that are holding up the legislation. Maybe we could talk together about how we could strategize around the same individuals. There's been a lot of workshops and trainings that have helped facilitate different types of conversations. So for one example, we had a lunch session where we brought together folks who are interested in doing criminal justice reform. Everyone has a little bit of a different vantage point. So folks who are working with those who are incarcerated, folks who are working on drug policy reform issues, people who are working LGBT issues. And I think it just created the space to have those conversations and kind of workshop through people's different campaigns, as well as find different opportunities for collaboration. So one of the things that we're really excited about and going to be expanding in 2015 is the legislative directory. This is what allows participants and subscribers to the Advocacy Institute to access information about elected officials and their staff online. So it's a really powerful tool for building that cumulative knowledge base over time. When you're not feeling as if you're at the table, it's difficult to feel like you're part of the process to make things better in your own life. And I think that one of the main things that the Advocacy Institute can do for you is to help you understand the process and understand exactly what you can do and also make connections with other people that are trying to do the same thing so that you understand that you're not in this alone. Together we are creating a more educated, progressive community of activists and advocates that will hopefully get our agendas passed at the city and state level in the following years. In 2015, we're going to have a community of 25 to 30 organizations, over 100 users on the legislative directory, will have a year under their belt, will have gone through a whole legislative cycle and a whole budget cycle. So we bring the same content we've brought for the last few years, but the capacity to pull from our community and uh, include a whole lot more people in what we're doing is gonna be far surpassed what we've been able to do so far. So join us in 2015.